Cavaliers, Mr. Ford here, and happy Thursday. This is going to be a great day at the park. One, because the sun is out after three days of gloom. And two, because we have our Student of the Month assembly slated for 2 o'clock p.m. today at the gym. This is going to be the first time in several years because of COVID that we've been able to congregate and assemble as an entire school. So I'm really excited about that. I anticipate the energy level being high to recognize our student success. Our teachers have nominated Students of the Month for September, and I have those names right here in this fancy envelope. Also, while down at the gym tomorrow, we are going to have a competition, and the competition is gonna be three relay races. And the relay races, competing in the relay races, are going to be our middle school students. Sixth grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade. But don't feel left out, elementary school. You will get there soon enough. In the meantime, we have linked you to one of the grade levels so that you have somebody to cheer for. And if they win, you will also receive the reward. So here's a breakdown of that. Cheering for our 6th grade team in addition to their sixth grade classmates, will be our preschool, kindergarten, and first grade students. You will all be cheering for sixth grade. Go sixth grade. Okay, seventh grade will be supported by our second and third grade students. And last, our top of the food chain Cavaliers, our big eighth graders, will be supported by our fourth and fifth grade students. Okay, the winner, the winning team of the three relay races, hopefully there's not a tie. If there is, I got something up my sleeve for that. But the grade level that wins two relay races first will receive the reward. And the reward is a free eighth period on Friday before the next student of the month assembly. Our middle school students will get to go to the gym and have some free time. Shoot the basketballs, participate in some other activities, or just hang out and socialize and talk in the bleachers. Our elementary age students will get to go to the cafeteria and enjoy a movie during that eighth period with their friends. I'm still working on popcorn arrangements to enhance the overall experience. So you may be wondering, who gets to compete in these relay races? Who gets to represent sixth, seventh, and eighth grade? Well, I got that planned out too. Tomorrow, I have members of our student council coming around the building to pass out either dark blue cards, light blue cards, or gold cards. If you receive one of these cards, you will be participating in those relay races. Our student council members will be giving five gold cards to sixth graders, five gold cards to seventh graders, and five gold cards to eighth graders. When I call for the gold event, those kids will come down and compete. Same thing for the light blue, and same thing for the dark blue. So, be on the lookout for our student council members coming around the building tomorrow to pass out an invite to compete in the relay races for an opportunity to win a free eighth period. Well, Cavs, I'm pumped. I will see you later in this afternoon. And, as always, go Cavs.